Tom Cruise was in a movie back in the early 90s that I think only NASCAR fans enjoy called Days of Thunder. And in that movie there's a line that says, there's nothing stock about a stock car. And what that line means is, these cars are built from the ground up to race. They may be stock cars, they may look kind of like what you would buy from the dealership, but they're built to race. They're not the car you buy off the lot and then you go drive 200 miles an hour around Daytona. No, these stock cars are built to race. Now, I've never driven a stock car before, I've never driven a race car. Closest thing was probably when I was in college, uh, my brother-in-law let me drive his car uh, over a weekend because he was fixing something on my car. Now, my car was a 99 Chevy Cavalier. Uh, it was a manual transmission, so it was kind of fun, but it was not, not built for speed at all. It was built to be fuel efficient. It would drive pretty well at slower speeds if I got uh, you know, up to 75, 80, 85, it would start shaking. Now, before you judge me about driving that fast, if you think that's fast, some of you think that's slow, uh, but there is a toll road in Oklahoma where the speed limit is 75, so I'm not being irresponsible, mom, if you watch this, but you know that, because you go down to Oklahoma too. My brother-in-law's car, so while he was fixing that, my brother-in-law had a Mustang. Before Mustangs aren't that great, whatever, but this Mustang was. Not only was it the 5.0, but it was built with uh, it was customized and built to be fast. So when I pulled it out of the driveway and started going down the neighborhood, I was very surprised how it was like kind of lobbing and how slow it, and it seemed like it was struggling. It was struggling just to get going at like 25 miles an hour. And I, I was surprised, right? That a car that I knew had had work done to it and, and was supposed to be fast and supposed to be powerful would struggle like that on these slow roads. But what happened was I took the right turn onto the highway and hit the gas and just started flying. I flew through the gears way faster than my Cavalier and was above the speed limit before I knew it because this car was built for speed. And I realized in that moment that the car was not happy driving slow. You were built for something specific. You were created by God for a specific purpose. You will not be happy, you will not do well in this over here, going slow in the neighborhoods if God designed you for speed. The same way that my Cavalier was designed for fuel efficiency and didn't like going fast, it was designed, it's not gonna be happy outside of its God-given purpose. So when you're thinking about race cars versus Chevy Cavaliers, um, just think about they were designed for their specific purpose. They both did their specific purpose well and they both struggled outside of their specific purpose. You were created by God for a purpose. You will not be happy and satisfied and enjoy life outside of that purpose. If you feel right now like maybe you, maybe you have success or maybe you don't, maybe you're waiting for something or maybe you do have money or success in a certain area, but you're not happy, but you're not satisfied, maybe you're outside of your God-given purpose. Maybe you need to take some time uh, spend some time with your creator to find out the purpose he created you for. And so I just want this little analogy to be a reminder. Maybe it's something that sticks in your head. Uh, I know it's for me, it's something that's stuck in my head. There's nothing stock about a stock car. Those things were built to race. There's nothing stock or standard about you. You were built for a specific purpose that's different than anybody else's. And you will not be happy and satisfied living somebody else's life, trying to pursue somebody else's purpose. You need to be pursuing your purpose. You need to be on the path. And I'm not saying that you can't be happy before you get to that end goal, because that's a problem that I have. I see these things that I want to do over here and they get frustrated in my current situation. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when you start pursuing those things that God has placed for you, you will feel more purpose. You will feel the intentionality and you will know the difference when you're on the right path doing what God has planned for you versus the wrong path over here, trying to chase money or girls or success or whatever that looks like, whatever that might mean for you. When you're chasing those other things, you're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna be fulfilled. You're not gonna be satisfied. You're not gonna enjoy life truly until you start to pursue your God-given purpose. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, can you do three things for me? Can you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tell your friends.